of the things that's not only fundamental when it comes to Christianity or to faith, let me put it like that instead, when it comes to faith, is the subject of forgiveness and the subject of mercy. Right? And, you know, when Jesus, um, it was, I think, in um, Matthew chapter 9, Jesus um, spoke to the Pharisees. There was a man, a lame man, that was led through the roof. And this guy was led through the roof by his friends. Um, and when, when they led him in front of Jesus, he said, I forgive you your sins. And Jesus picked up the thoughts, prophetically, picked up the thoughts of the Pharisees and he answered them and he said, what is easy to say unto a man, I forgive you your sins or take up your bed and walk. All right. So the secret there was that Jesus had the authority to heal. All right. But then he said this to the Pharisees. He said, what is easier to say, take up your bed and walk or I forgive you your sins. All right. So the, the big thing is that there is power in mercy. All right. When it comes to speaking about um, mercy, there is, um, it, like I said, it's fundamental but there is, there is power behind it. But the victim mentality that I'm referring to is that we carry this concept or we carry this belief from time to time it creeps up that, you know, mercy was shown when we have received salvation. All right. And that is not true in its entirety. It is true that we do receive mercy for the first time from God when we receive salvation. All right. But it's not true that that's the end of mercy, okay? Because he's, the Bible says that His mercies endures forever, all right? And we all, all know these scriptures, but somehow we get a misconcept in, oh, I have received mercy through salvation, but we forget that His mercies endures forever, all right? So it means that there is forever mercy, all right? So one of the reasons, you know, and, and, and the word mercy there, so we're going to touch a little bit on mercy and forgiveness, mercy and forgiveness, but... The definition of the word mercy, just as an intro, is um, if you look at it in the concordance or if you look at it in the one of the main dictionaries, it will say forgiveness or compassion. Okay, so it, it means forgiveness or compassion. All right. So the reason the reason that mercy is so important is is that. We can't receive the grace of God. We can't receive the favor of God without the forgiveness of God. All right. So let's carry on. I'm just going to, I'm just going to read Psalm 36 verse 5 and then I'll go to 33, 18. 36 verse 5 says this. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the cloud. Your righteousness is like the great mountains and your judgments are deep, are the great deep. O Lord, you preserve man and beast. Now I want you to see in 36, 5, how that there is a parallel between mercy and righteousness. Okay, now I want to read 30, and this is the important one, 35, um, or 33, 18, sorry, forgive me, 33 verse 18. Behold the eye of the Lord, now I want you to hear this. Behold the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, and on those who hope in His mercy. Okay, and on those who hope in His mercy. There are certain situations in life where we just need God's help. There's just something that we need. There's a miracle that we need. There's a breakthrough that we need. Whenever we want to see the supernatural power of Jesus manifest, we need mercy. If mercy is not on the scene, the supernatural will not manifest. Let's go with uh, to the book of Acts. And I think I'm going to start in Acts chapter 2. Acts 2.38, then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all you who are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call. So what did he say? He was saying the moment you receive the remission of sins. What is that? The forgiveness of, of sins. Mercy. All right. Then the Holy Spirit is poured out. When it comes to the outpouring of the Spirit, but also to the supernatural and in terms of, 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 of um, miracles and in terms of walking in the supernatural, why is it important? Because how will, they not, how will people believe, people that are not believers, how will they believe if they don't see God on you?